Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Here are 10 tips for working in the Develop module in Lightroom Classic. If we tap the D key, we can get to the Develop module from any other module. In order to change the gray area surrounding the image, right click or control click on Mac in the gray area and choose a lighter or darker background color. In order to decrease the amount of scrolling that you have to do, right click on a panel header or control click on Mac and choose Solo Mode. In solo mode, only one panel can be opened at a time, so when you select another panel, the previous one closes. If you need more than one panel open while in solo mode, shift click on the second panel. When working with sliders, double click the name of a slider to reset it to the default value. Double clicking on the name of a group of sliders will reset all of the sliders within that group to their default values or hold the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and click to reset the group of sliders. To change the order of the panels on the right side of the Develop module, right click or control click on Mac on the name of any panel and select Customize Develop Panel. Use the grabber handle to drag to reorder the panels and use the checkbox to hide or reveal individual panels. For now, I'll choose Cancel, but note that if I were to click Save, Lightroom Classic will display the panels in the new order, as well as toggle the visibility of any checked or unchecked panels only after relaunching the application. Use the slider or drag over the text entry area with the scrubby icon to change a value, or click in any text entry area to enter a specific numeric value. If the text field is highlighted, you can use the up and down arrows to modify the existing values. Add the shift key to move the values in larger increments. You can tap the tab key to move to the next slider. For finer control over slider movement, drag the edge of a panel to expand its width. Option drag on Mac or Alt drag on Windows for greater expansion of the panel. All of the editing panels display a small eye icon to the left side of the panel header. When the eye is dim, it means that there haven't been any changes made to that panel. When the eye is lit, click and hold on the eye icon to preview the changes made in that panel. The healing and red eye correction tools also have a preview icon. However, the icon is displayed at the bottom left of the tools options. And on the masking panel, the preview icon is at the top left of the panel. Tapping eye cycles through information on overlays. Customize the information that's displayed using View and then View Options. You can change the information that's displayed for both the Info 1 and Info 2 options. There are two unique zoom shortcuts specific to the Develop module. Hold down the Shift key and drag left or right in the image area to zoom out or in using Scrubby Zoom. One important thing to note for Scrubby Zoom, the GPU acceleration must be enabled or command drag on Mac, control drag on Windows, a rectangle over the area in the image that you want to zoom into in order to use box zoom. And one more tip to quickly reset the settings applied to an image, use command shift R on Mac or control shift R on Windows. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.